This video is going to show you how to find the displacement from a position versus time graph. So the question is this, what is the displacement from 3 to 7 seconds? So first off, you know you're finding displacement when you're talking about two different points in time. So that's the 3 and the 5 seconds. Now displacement is defined as the change in position. So we write that as a delta position. And the change in position is always final position minus initial position. Anytime we see the delta symbol, it always means final something minus initial something. And final refers to later in time. So if I look at this, I've got 3 and 7 seconds. 3 seconds is early, 7 seconds is later in time. So let's find it at 3 seconds. Crosses the curve right up there at the top, and I can trace it over to the axis, and I can see that's 12 meters. So at 3 seconds, the object's at 12 meters. At 7 seconds, I go up until it crosses the curve, and then I can trace the curve over to the axis, and I can see that that's at 4 meters. So at 7 seconds, it's at 4 meters. So to give you some way of visualizing this, the displacement is just that vertical difference between these two. That's the displacement. So in this case, the final position is at 4 meters, and the initial position is at 12 meters. So the change in position, which is the, is the displacement, is 4 meters minus 12 meters, which is equal to a negative 8 meters. So the displacement is negative 8 meters. So the key takeaway thing from this is that when finding the displacement on a position versus time graph, you're finding the difference in the two positions. And that's two different times, two different positions, and you're finding the difference to find the displacement.